the older I get, the more I realize how difficult it is to understand each other. So the reason why I put a lot of things in my environment to look at is to compare and contrast, compare and contrast ideas, popular scientific expressions, thinking about a theory of everything from an egg perspective. That way, maybe everyone on Earth could use the thing. The final theory, master theory, ultimate theory, grand unified field theory. And this, these dots, from what I can work out in my mind, is a way to not just include biology, male, female, in terms of creating a general reference point, connecting not just chemistry and physics, but biology with chemistry and physics. And I was thinking, after male-female in mammalian dynamics and host, 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 guest, host, guest, host, guest, threat model, um, I thought we could use the little dots as I in AI, IQ, or SETI. And more specifically, I'm always thinking about things from a host, guest, threat model and again the reason I look at this on my wall is I'm always seeing lots and lots and lots of problems and then the second biggest thing I see is how maybe no one knows what the heck I'm talking about so when I think from a symbology perspective I I think of win-win and you're like well what does that mean and I think of sphere I think basically when you say something happens over time, it gets really tricky to separate the concept of sphere and time, but to then break that apart in a more meaningful way that can create application and then te technologies that can predict the future and outcomes better than current technologies and things like that. We have to dig even deeper into it and ask ourselves even tougher questions. So I. I'm looking at this at this moment from a theory of shells, theory of shields, theory of shelters, and then the environment becomes a constant threat. So as things cluster together, like a butterfly has the same exact coloration as a tree, it basically helps enshrine the survival of both of those things because they create a win-win scenario. And so I'm looking at the little dots in this expression as basically I, intelligence. What is intelligence? Let's define as win-win. Okay, what, what does that mean? Well, let's define intelligence from win-win from an exponential growth perspective. Okay, what's that mean? Well, let's define intelligence from a win-win exponential growth perspective forms a sphere, something that can protect the most amount of biomass with the least amount of exposed surface area, going back to this idea of a host-guest threat model. And again, I'm not saying that this is the best way to look at it. I'm just saying I'm trying to create a better way of w looking at this than anybody's ever created before. And then hopefully that could create a first book, a first publication that I feel good enough about that I can get out there with my family and promote and sell to every single person on planet Earth. And then we can talk about that team, each customer then also doubling as a producer for the next version, version two.